Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Mike down here in the Yak Shack. I had a request a few months back for a video on the no drill anchor setup that we use for the front anchor on a Jackson Cusa HD. Thought I would come down here today and show you how we use that anchor and how to set up on the kayaks. If you guys like these type of videos, how about hitting that subscribe button for us, like and comment on this video and let us know what you think about it. So this no drill front anchor was devised by Mike Kinnick and Rob Seals. Uh, they came up with the idea. It's a pretty good idea, pretty simple idea. You only need a few things to get this uh, accomplished. One of the first things you're going to need to install this anchor is a clam cleat. You can find these at any kayak store. Uh, you can also find them at uh, Academy Sports. I think this one was five bucks. It's a pretty simple uh, cleat. This clam cleat didn't have uh, mounting hardware, but you'll need uh, a couple short wood screws will work to mount the clam cleat to the block. The next thing you're gonna need is a uh, a length of diamond braid anchor rope. This is 3 16 inch, happens to be 75 feet. I got this from Austin Kayak, Yak Gear makes it. You really need to get the diamond braid rope. Don't try to use a paracord for these front anchors because uh, it doesn't work very well. You also need a small block of wood. Uh, it needs to be inch and a half wide. This happens to be five inches long and it's an uh, inch thick. Preferably, if I was going to do this, I would use a harder wood. I wouldn't pick a soft wood to do this. It'd be a harder wood that could sort of stand up to stresses because you will put a little stress on this cleat and these two points on your gear track. This setup should work with any kayak that has uh, gear tracks on it. Um, I know feel free gear tracks are a little bit different uh, configuration. They're probably a little bit wider than these Kusa HDs. I know Jackson, uh, I know you can't interchange some mounts between feel free and Kusa HDs, Jackson kayaks, and other kayaks. You have to have a special adapter for that track for the feel free. You will also need a couple of T-bolts. Um, you can buy T-bolts for these gear tracks at any uh, yak shop. They probably have them at Academy. Anywhere that sells kayaks you usually have these T-bolts. Uh, if you cannot find them, you can get them at Lowe's. They're basically toilet bolts that hold the toilet down. Uh, those bolts won't fit in these gear tracks, but you can grind that bolt down a little bit on the side to make them slide freely in the track. You will also need a uh, some type of weight. We use a five pound dumbbell that you can get at Walmart, any fitness store, Amazon. You will also need a small pulley. Uh, you can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot. You will also need a small length of paracord. This length of paracord that I have is probably a foot long but I have it tied up from my front handle to my pulley just about six inches. And I do that so I can pull my anchor all the way up. When my anchor's all the way up, it's not dangling in the water. Uh, as you can see, when I pull that anchor all the way up, it is all the way up on top of my kayak and out of the water. And that's sort of the way I like it. I don't like that resistance when I have to paddle. So here's a picture of the bottom of the... Uh, the board that the clam cleats mounted on the piece of wood. Uh, here are the T-bolts. 
sticking out the bottom. And as you can see here, instead of using wood screws, looks like Mike used a bolt, a, a bolt with a nut and sort of countersunk everything, which is what you want to do. Use this on either side of the kayak you want to. Um, just make sure that if you use it, I use it on the right hand side. If you use it on the left, then you need to reverse what you've done here. Put these bolts on the inside and put the clamp plate on the outside. That way you won't get tangled up. But this is pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, these two bolts slide right in this track right here. Pretty easy to do. This track, just get them lined up to the track, slide it right in there. Once you get it in there where you want it, you just tighten it down. Wherever you want it. And you can take a socket or you can take whatever you want to tighten it down. I just got a little pair of pliers here. You don't want to tighten that down a whole lot. You just want to snug it up, make it firm uh, where it won't slide around. You don't want to tighten this up a whole lot. You want it just tightened up enough to where it won't slide around. It won't move around. If you tighten it too tight, you run the risk of pulling your track loose from your kayak and you don't want to do that. That is on there firm, and it's not going to go anywhere. I cut my anchor rope 19 foot long. You really don't need any more rope than that in a river. The places I anchor blow shoals, uh, I may let out eight foot and have seven foot in the boat, uh, sort of underneath my seat. I do have it a little bit longer just in case I want to anchor in the lake. 19 foot's a pretty good depth. I'm not gonna be out in any real deep water trying to anchor in a kayak, but I can anchor off the front uh, in shallower water on lake if I need to. I am going to run the anchor rope today. So I'm gonna measure out my My rope here. I'm just going to go back 19 feet like I had before. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason for me doing 19 feet. I just did 19 feet. All right, I got my rope cut. I'm just going to thread it back through my clam cleat. Pull it right through. All the way up. And I'm going to run it through my pulley. Once I run it through my pulley, I'm going to tie it to my dumbbell, to my five pound dumbbell. Now listen, I don't do any special knots on this thing. I know some people probably do. If you want to do a special knot, you can do a special knot. I'm just, I just tie a couple of overhand knots in it and I've not had one come loose yet. As a matter of fact, as it gets wet, it's going to tighten up more and more and more. That's not to say that I may not have one come loose. I could have one come loose. I don't think I will. But if I do, these things are at Walmart. And I probably got two or three more in my yak shack here, just waiting to go on. So I got my rope through there. I come back here to the very end of it and I tie a knot in it. And the reason I tie a knot in it is 
when I let this anchor out, I do not want the end of that rope to come back through this clam cleat. I want it to be stuck in there in case I lose this anchor rope. I drop that anchor rope and it gets hung up in there. It stops right there. So that's what I want it to do. So once I got everything tied on, I just pull from behind the clam cleat, raises the anchor all the way up and then just push down on the rope and the clam cleat bites on that rope and holds it your anchor up. When you want to deploy, you just pick up on the back of your rope, let it out of your clam cleat, and it deploys to the river, to the ground, wherever you're deploying it. So that's our no drill anchor setup for Jackson Cusa HD. That's the front anchor. Uh, in our opinion, it's the safest type anchor you can have. It's a no drill. You won't have to drill in your kayak. It's uh, pretty ingenious the way Mike and Rob came up with it. Uh, pretty simple. Doesn't cost you a whole lot of money. I think the clam cleat was five bucks. Um, Mike probably had the scrap wood laying around. I would say the screws and the T-bolts were probably five bucks or less and the rope from Austin Kayak was maybe $6.99 or something like that, $5.99, I can't remember. But anyway, it's an ingenious way to do it, a simple way to do it, lasts a long time. Uh, you will have to change out the rope after a couple of years just because here at this point, the clam cleat bites on the rope where that anchor is pulled back and up all the time. It makes an indention in the rope and actually thins that rope down. So after about two years, you'll have to reverse this rope, take the end that is on your dumbbell and run it back through your clam cleat and tie a knot and then the knot, the, the end that has the knot, original knot, you need to tie it to your dumbbell, just reverse it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment on the videos. Tell us what you wanna see. We appreciate your support. Where we are at uh, this morning, we were at uh, 759 subscribers. It it blows my mind to look back on where we started and where we are now. Uh, hope we're getting better. Hope things uh, entertain you guys. Hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Uh, let us know what you think, what you want to see. Uh, shout out to uh, Mike Woods, Tiny Woods, uh, Southwest Virginia, uh, Yackers for Smallies. Uh, he's the one that asked uh, for this video originally. And shout out to David Life, East Tennessee River Runners. He runs that group. Uh, he just bought a couple of kayaks. He was asking me for pictures of the anchor set up and drag chain set up on my kayaks and i'm sorry dave i'm just now getting around to it i know you asked probably three weeks ago but it's been an extremely busy time of the year for me a lot of editing a lot of we're fishing a lot a lot of editing a lot of video to go through a lot of things going on uh, appreciate your patience and uh tiny i hope this uh, helps you out brother you know uh we've been friends a long time and i appreciate you uh, you know I'll do anything for you I uh, hope this helps you out if you need any help setting yours up let me know and I'll be glad to come up there and help you guys thanks for tuning in we'll see you on the water